This is a reasonable amount of pineapples, don't you think? So today I'm gonna make my tropical upside down cake. First thing I'm going to do is make pineapple flowers. And they are gonna be the garnish on the cake. They're delicious, we can garnish our drinks with them too. Let me see how thin it is, I wanna show you guys. Yes. See it? You can slice it as thin as you can. Definitely need a very sharp knife and you need to be careful because the pineapple's kind of, not slimy, but very slippery. And I leave the core in because it looks like the center of a flower and if you took it out, it would be really delicate once dehydrated and they'd probably break. So we can bake them flat, but we're also gonna use muffin tins. So you can just take these, pop them into each cavity. I hate calling these cavities, but that's what they are. Uh, I'm gonna take these to the oven. We're baking them really, really low, 225, and just drying them out. I'm gonna cut more pineapple for my coconut pineapple upside down cakes. And now I'm ready to line my pans with pineapple, brown sugar, and maraschino cherries. I'm still gonna put good old parchment paper at the bottom of the pan. Now I need to add a quarter of a cup of butter to each one of these pans. Oh yes. Okay, you know what I'll do? Just top it up a teeny bit. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in a half a cup of brown sugar in each pan. Now I'm going to fan my pineapple seeds into the pans. And then you have these great little nooks where we're gonna add cherries. And then I'm gonna put a cherry at the edge here. These cherries are living on the edge. I'm gonna put these aside quickly and I'm going to make my coconut batter. But first, can we check the pineapple flowers, please? This is it, this is me. Checking pineapple flowers. Okay, ooh, I love how golden these are. I am going to flip these over very carefully. It's funny, in that oven, because this is higher, these got more caramelized. Look at these. This is like pre-10, and this is this pre-vacation. So I'm going to make my coconut cake batter. To begin, I'm putting butter into the bowl, sugar in the bowl, vanilla in the bowl, and then I'm going to put this on the mixer and let it start to cream. I'm going to mix together my flour, my shredded coconut, and this is baking powder and baking soda, all in one bowl. And then I'm gonna open up the cans of coconut milk and get out what I need. You wanna use a fatty coconut milk. You don't wanna use coconut milk in a carton that you put in your coffee. Oh, battery exhausted. The battery is exhausted. Join the club, battery. <laughs> this is creamed butter and sugar. So I'm gonna start to add the eggs and the egg whites. I always like to do a scrape down here too because once you start adding liquid to this really fatty mixture, the eggs just spend a lot of time dancing around on top. So, a scrape down. Now it's time to alternate our dry and wet ingredient, which is the coconut milk, into the batter. So I'm gonna start with dry and end with dry. Coconut. What is wrong with me? All right, now I'm just dividing this glorious batter between three pans. I stole a little bit of batter. Well, I didn't steal, I made it. So I gave myself the right to borrow a bit of batter because I also wanna show you that you could turn this into a plated dessert, essentially. Okay, so I'm just making a mini version of the cake. So see these two little pans? I'm just gonna butter, brown sugar, one pineapple, and then I'm gonna pour in this extra batter. For this four inch pan, I poured four ounces of batter inside. It's gonna rise quite a bit, actually and it's gonna be such a nice little plated dessert. Okay, my cakes are baked. It's time to remove them from their pans. These might need a little help because of all the brown sugar goodness and the pineapple. Hello! So now I have to carefully flip these back so that I can level what is the bottom, what was the top in the pan. Isn't it kind of rude to show these cakes to the crew of pineapples just showing on the side? It is, isn't it? This is what happened to your brothers and sister. I'm so sorry. So this is a pineapple rum simple syrup. 
Oh yeah, so with these, because we're technically simple syruping what will be the bottom, you really want to make sure that the syrup soaks. So I'm going to let my syrup soak in and then I'm going to my rich coconut butter cream. And we're rolling. It's now time to make rich butter cream. I should have dressed up. This is called rich buttercream because it's made with whole eggs rather than just egg whites. So the yolks add a richness to the buttercream and of course, color. I make it just like Italian meringue. So I have my sugar and water here. I'm going to turn it on to boil. And today is the day we're gonna figure out which one of these thermometers works. One of them is broken and then we always just wash it and put it back and then we don't remember which one it is. And now I'm going to dump my whole eggs into the stainless steel bowl. Thank you very much. You're still gonna use the whip attachment. We're gonna follow the same principles. We're gonna wait till this comes to 240 degrees. When this reaches about 230, I'm going to start to whip the eggs. But they're not gonna whip up as high as just whites would. So don't expect to see the same volume. It's also rich because it has more butter. You can make this as is. You can just make a vanilla rich buttercream. It's delicious. But today I'm making coconut. So I'm adding cream of coconut. The pressure's on. We need to know which one of you works. This one does not work. Does not work. Bye. Everyone say bye. Thank you. The sugar's at 240, so I'm going to slowly pour it in. Okay, so our mixture is now cool to the touch. The bowl's completely cool. So we're gonna start to add in our butter. So now I'm going to add the vanilla and, I should've left the bowl down, the cream of coconut. Oh boy. Oh, I am, I am making a mess today. Who am I? Oh yeah, it's a good day. Okay, here we have it. So you can see it has a very buttery color. She's gorgeous. If your pineapples are too like saucy, it's kind of like simple syrup. If you put buttercream on this, it'll dance around. So you can take a clean paper towel and just absorb. Just absorb that surface moisture. It's like it's wearing a skirt. It, it is. It's wearing a rich buttercream skirt. The crumb coat is chilled. I'm going to ice it, then I'm gonna move it to my cake stand, and then I'm going to add texture. We're icing the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to add texture, but you do want a nice, even layer. Didn't ice the top because why would I hide this beauty, right? Will you be my stand holder? Hold my stand. This is less pressure because it's not fully decorated yet. Ooh, the color's good. All right, so now I'm gonna use a fork to create texture in the buttercream. So you wanna hold the fork upside down and then just lightly drag and you don't want the prongs to hit the cake because there will be dredging. The baby cakes are here. Cute. A little syrup just like drizzled out on the side. I know, I'm actually upset yeah. about, I'm, no, I'm upset about that. I don't, Why? I'm not, I don't want that on the plate. And then you can top them for your guests with ice cream or whipped cream and some garnishes. So, it doesn't have rich buttercream, but it has a cherry with a stem. Look at it. I heard, like, put a pineapple on. Okay, here we are. Oh God, that looks like vacation on a plate. Here we go, vacation on a plate. Vacation! So now you can just, see, they're fragile, I told you. You can just have fun. Okay, I need to like set the table. <laughs> I 
I know, I know. Oh, hey guys, Lil Squeeze and I were just um, on the other side of the yacht. Had a few cocktails, we're feeling good. She's empty. All of her syrup is gone. But I think we need some cake as a snack, right? Oh, oh yeah. I think this is a great birthday cake. I think this is a great summer party cake. I think even if you don't like all the recipes and layer up, if you don't want to ice it, you can just make individual pineapple upside down cakes. You don't have to ice it. So guys, I'll see you next week. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Had a cake in Hawaii. Put that on the list.